And welcome back to Sports Check on this Monday morning on the 4th of April, 2022. It's a day when the Independent Electoral Boundaries Commission, they're having an election preparedness workshop at uh, event at the Kenya School of Government. And together with other players, the Office of the Director of Public Prosecutions and other state agencies to ensure that the country fully understands what's required of them as we head to the August 9th election. And also, the East Africa Legislative Assembly MPs are having a sensitization function, and this is at the Kenyatta International Convention Center. Those are just two of some of the events that our news team is covering for us this morning. And uh, we now get into our second conversation, and this is about 3x3 three three basketball. It's a sport that's played in the streets, in the gyms, and is meant to be exciting and explosive. Basically, it's for entertainment, but it has become an Olympic sport. It's going to, Kenya is going to be represented by the men's and women's teams at the Commonwealth Games and also at the Africa Youth Games. Kenya is going to have a team. And yesterday, the youngsters, they had an opportunity to get in and knock on the doors of the national team. We'll get into that conversation with the coach of the under-16s 3x3 basketball team, Shem Otieno. He's at my extreme left. Thank you very much, coach. Yeah. After, a, you know, a tough weekend, we've got to say. Yeah. And then we've got Terence Hill Musimbi. Good morning and welcome to KBC. Thank you. Well, she's a 3x3 three three basketball player. And on my immediate right, we have got Emily Amunga. She also plays 3x3 basket, three three basketball. So, as we get into that conversation, let me introduce my sign language interpreter at this point. Her name is Lenza Odingo. And... I'll start with you, Emily. Just give us a story of how you got into basketball and where, where you school. Um, I school at Our Lady of Mercy. I started playing basketball in 2019 when I was joining Form One. Actually, Our Lady of Mercy. Yeah. Which county? It's in Nairobi County. Okay. Good. I started playing basketball when I was in Form One. Actually, I didn't like basketball. What? <laughs> I thought it was a sport for boys. So my, my uncle, who's my coach, got me into it. So I had to play it since the high school I was going to was playing basketball. So I had to start playing it. Who's your uncle? Coach Moses Msusi. Uh -huh. yeah. So he convinced you? So were you convinced or you obeyed? I, I, I obeyed. <laughs> You wouldn't want to disobey your uncle. And what has been the experience for the last three years playing basketball? Basketball has, has exposed me to so much opportunities, mm -hmm. like attending camps. I attended FIBA camp, mm -hmm. Hassel Hard camp, Task, and also basketball is helping me in my studies through scholarship. Mm -hmm. Well, benefiting through sport, those are some of the little stories that we always like to hear. And let me come to you, Terence Hill Musimbi. You know, Terence Hill is an actor we really, really <laughs> loved. When we were much younger, Coach Shem would know um, where, the, yeah, together with the sidekick of his, was known as Bud Spencer. But how did you get into basketball? Uh, I started playing basketball as in Standard 5. I'm, I'm schooling at Bitter Girls High School, which is in Kakamega County. First, I was discouraged by my fellow friends that I'm short, I can't play basketball. But my coach kept, kept on encouraging me. My dad kept on encouraging me that I can, I can play basketball. When I first went for a tournament in Omoja, there's a coach called Coach Martin and Coach Shem kept on encouraging me, telling me that basketball is not only for the tall guys or tall people. You can also play basketball. In standard five, where were you in school at that point? Yes. Uh, which school was it? Uh, it's mm -hmm. called Mandari Community Outreach. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. And how did and how did you grow into the sports? And uh, now that you are even in secondary school, uh, I kept on playing basketball. When I first got my trophy, my MVP trophy, I was in standard eight, Africa's Gym Basketball. I, I went on for a camp, global, called Hasolad, Task, where I play as a point guard. That's where. The coach kept on exposing me. Then basketball is also benefiting me through scholarship. Yes. And your MVP trophy, how did you win it? Uh, I don't know, but... <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, you played a big role for your team. Yes. 
Also, basketball is about aggressive, being aggressive, your skills, how you showcase your talent to the others. Yes. All right. And uh, Coach Shem, let me come to you now. Mm -hmm. um, for a very long time, uh, five-a-side basketball has been the thing. How mm -hmm. did you get into now three by three? Okay. Uh, basically, I got to three by three in 2018. Um, through um, our second vice chair, that is uh, Hilmi, uh, who uh, is one uh, leading out the three on three uh, in Kenya, and uh, he invited us for a training uh, for that. And then uh, after that, I got interested in it. And uh, because I run a basketball academy, so I started introducing it into the into the academy in terms of just playing it. Because uh, before we were just playing it, because I myself uh, I was a player of three x three. Uh, before, but um, we didn't get these opportunities that are there. So through from eight, 2018 now is when now we started getting up all these uh, opportunity coming up in terms of also representation of the, uh, uh, of Kenya to the uh, to the international and regional tournaments. So and um, basically now that started uh, building up uh, on me, and uh, because mostly I concentrate with the development aspect from the. Uh, at the grassroots level, so that's why I started engaging in that to this moment. Yeah. Now I want to say uh, around 2018, come 2019, uh, Kenya sent two teams to the African Games in mm. Morocco, and a bronze medal was won by the women's team. What yeah. kind of impact has that had on three by three basketball? Uh, actually, uh, uh, even the team that went to Morocco, uh, we had one of our players from the academy, that is Faiz Basketball uh, Academy, based in Kayole. And uh, she also won the best three-point shooting, mm -hmm. uh, yes. holding the title right now in, uh, in Africa. So we are proud of that. And uh, that also has encouraged so much uh, uh, young kids like Emily, Terence, to start picking up that uh, uh, mantle to push to the next level. So it has been really, really great. And uh, right now, the task that we have as coaches is that uh, we need to push it more into the grassroots level and uh, bring up the aspect of entertainment in it and uh, the aspect of just enjoying and uh, that is how kids start uh, building the psych to, to participate in basketball. Yeah. All right, and coach, right now I'd like to engage coach and give us the whole aspect of 3x3 three three basketball because it has a few tweets from conventional basketball. Mm -hmm. First of all, the number of players per side, limited mm -hmm. to four, thinking behind that? Yeah, uh, the number of players are four, uh, that is uh, three playing and one sub, so, and uh, there is no coaching, uh, that is uh, the beauty of it, it's now, uh, and also it's built the leadership of players, because there is no coach who is going to tell you, oh, you have to move this, you know, you have to arrange yourself, the four of you, and then uh, play, uh, so the first team to 21 uh, wins the game. And uh, the, the game is always run in terms of 12-minute uh, stopping. So the first team that reaches 21, the game is done. And this is where I want to engage you about the scoring system because it's mm -hmm. different. Normally, the free throw is a point yeah. um, if you're outside the, you know, the three-point three line, line. I mean, if you're on the three-point line or inside, it's two points. Two points yeah. And behind that line is three. three. The scoring in three by three. Yeah, the scoring in three by three, if you are inside the three-point line, that is one point. Uh, if you're in the free throw line, that is also one point. Uh, and then if you're outside the, the three-point line, uh, that is two points, not rather than three points, as, as you know, that is two points. And also in terms of the, the fouling system is also different because uh, in the conventional basketball uh, uh, environment, it's uh, five fouls, uh, I mean four, four teams foul, and uh, you, you, you go and shoot. Mm -hmm. But for these, it's different because uh, it has to reach seven fouls. And then you have two shots. When it reaches 10 fouls, you have two shots and the possession. So you see, that is a totally different, yeah. Well, explain that possession factor because it's actually, uh, the other thing is that it's played on half a court mm -hmm. with only one rim. Yes. So um, each, uh, each team, uh, when it starts, uh, compared to the normal 5-on-5, uh, five five, you toss the ball up. Now this, you toss a coin. So either team chooses between head and uh, tail, and then the team that wins uh, either, either uh, checks the ball. And uh, that's where the game starts. So, and then you don't go outside. When you score, 
the, the other team don't go outside. They pick the ball under the knee. There's a the no charge zone okay. that is now our outside uh, bound. That is where you start the, the ball. So you don't work with it out. And immediately you, you kick it out, and you have to step outside the three-point line, mm -hmm. and then come back and and score. So that is uh, it has so many nitty-gritty uh, details on it that uh, comprises, and it 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 builds the uh, the IQ of players. And if you get players who understand how to play it well, oh, it becomes more interesting. Well, and let me come to you, Terence. Uh, for most people, they, when you start basketball, you start off, uh, you know, the conventional way, uh, with a conventional five-a-side basketball. How was the shift to three by three for you? Mm, it was kind of hard because you're used to play five on five. Then the they came introduced the three on three, so you just have to cooperate. But if you are very aggressive and you are very good in basketball, it can be hard to you. Mm -hmm. Explain that transition about how you cooperate with the other two players and the aggression required. Just have to agree. If if I want the heads, when they check me the ball, I'll tell my fellow players where to play. Everybody there has their position. If I'm playing one. I'll be the one being checked the ball. But not only the one can be checked the ball, also the two or the three man or the five man. Yes. And uh, let me come to you, Emily. Your experience is playing three by three basketball. So me, when I started playing three by three, it was hard for me to follow the rules because I forget there's a line that you're not supposed to pass. So I forget, I pass. But in time, I copied and I learned how to play it well. Yes, that is Emily, and she plays three by three basketball. And there was a tournament for the under 16s, and that was over the weekend. And all building up to the Africa Youth Games, we shall be coming back to this conversation. We get back to our conversation, and it is about three by three basketball. The Africa Youth Games will be taking place in August. Egypt is the host country, the third nation to have been picked to host that event after changes you know change after change mm -hmm. ethiopia was the last but they opted out now egypt are the ones who are going to do that three by three basketball is one of the sports where kenya is expected to be represented and in studio with us we've got emily amunga she's on my immediate left she's a three by three basketball player and she is at our lady of mercy school here in nairobi from butere girls we've got terence hill musimbi and we've got their coach shem otieno and now, the process of picking a team to represent the country at the youth games is one that is always a challenge for any coach. Mm -hmm. So over the weekend, you had this event uh, where, you know, the youngsters were playing. And let me just take a look at this. Gal semi-final Hawks against Umoja 1. Hawks winning 18-14. Uh, Swaga against Stars 16-10. Um, Swaga won Hawks against Swaga 15-13. Uh, that was for the girls, a semis, and that's where they are from. Tell us about this tournament. Okay, uh, basically, the way you've said it, uh, it's, it's a process, uh, picking up uh, uh, the, the national team. And uh, for the weekend, uh, basically, what was happening, we were doing the Nairobi edition. So we'll be having also the Mombasa edition, and also Kisumu and other parts of the country. And also now all these uh, youngsters are going to bring them in a national tryout. Now from there we're going to pick up uh, uh, the best for the nation. So it's still a journey. It's not yet over. So we're still having uh, Kisumu. Uh, also uh, they're going to do their tryouts. Eldoret, uh, Mombasa, Nakuru and also Kisi. So that now we can have uh, a national uh, outlook. So, uh, so yeah. But uh, for this weekend, uh, we picked 15 uh, uh, girls and uh, 15 boys who are now going to represent uh, the Nairobi at the national tryout level. Yeah. What were you looking for specifically in the 30 players that you picked? Okay, um, one imp uh, important thing is for the 3 is the scoring ability, which is very great, and the skills, and then also in terms of size, which is very much important, and uh, speed is also key because uh, three by three really it's 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 a one-on-one -on -one, uh, uh, game aspect so speed is also very very key 
So if you don't have the size, you have the speed. Yeah, and uh, uh, Terence Hill here is uh, one of the best uh, guards we have right now uh, at that age category in terms of her speed is uh, is great. I can I can say that. So those are some of the things we are looking at uh, very much. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Terence being selected, um, the coach has said it's two things: it's looking at size, it's looking at speed, it's looking at skill. Let's talk about how you e keep your speed going as a basketballer uh, training practice makes perfect as they say yes that's what i do if you come for training every day that you work on your speed you work on your skills you work on your handles you just be okay just take us through what your uh, an ordinary training day for you would be like uh, like for me i attend training at two my personal training first i shoot I now, but actually, now that you're on holiday, yes. Yes, mm -hmm. I shoot. I work on my speed by going through the the court for ten seconds running. Yes, that's the, the, that's the entire court. Is it the yeah. three sides or just simple sprint? Simple back and the entire mm -hmm. court, mm -hmm. back and front, ten seconds. Yes. Well, that would take. Uh -huh, that is uh, that you all told us about your shooting skill and that. And what about feed movement? Mm. Also, when you're playing basketball, you have to share the ball with the rest. Mm -hmm. Basketball, you can't play alone. Yes, that's why there are other players. Indeed, it's a one-on-one -on -one game, but you have to also to share the ball. If you have a mismatch, you can tell other players that this is my mismatch. You can beat and score. But if you can't, you just pass the ball, go, he go help the other person, screen the other person for the rest to be free. We also play together. And by the way, since you're based in Butere, would, if schools were on, would you have picked Kakamega as a place to go for the trial? I mean, Kisumu as a place to go for the trials. Mm-hmm. uko? Yeah. Confident sana. Sema turaisi, eh? Unge waweza wote. Emily, tell us about some of the key strengths that you know you have um, in uh, me, I play as a foreman. Actually, I can say I can play all positions, but the three on, in the three on three, I play as a foreman. I get rebounds. Yeah, uh -huh. I sh I can shoot. I can go for layups. Yeah. So ideally, in an, if you are playing five by five, you play as a forward or as a guard. I play as a small forward. Yeah, I can do everything. Uh -huh. yeah. You can do everything about that. Mm -hmm. And now, coach, what's the next? Um, you know, criteria that you're going to use to keep them active. We know that mm -hmm. there's still about another seven, six, seven weeks for school holidays. Yeah. How then do you keep the players that you have active? The 30 you've selected, the 15 boys, the 15 girls. Okay. Um, the ones we've selected, um, most of them come from different academies. So we do follow up with the, with the coaches in terms of uh, training program. And um, from tomorrow, we, are, we will be having a meeting with uh, other coaches to design a program in terms of uh, how we'll be engaging them in terms of weekly basics to just be working uh, together for them. Yeah. Developing that, um, you know, such that if you pick somebody from Mombasa, from Nakuru, from Kisumu, mm -hmm. Eldoret, such that if you pick them up, there is some common thinking, mm -hmm. you know, around how you play the basketball in the country. Mm -hmm. How do you do that? such that even by the time they get to the senior team mm -hmm. it's very i mean the the selection process becomes trickier but the excitement of the sport is there um one of the things is that uh, as coaches uh we deliberate uh, we have a whatsapp group in terms of how we deliberate mm -hmm. on uh, what specific that we really need to work on for these athletes so basically when i'm here in uh, nairobi and uh, the other coaches who are in Mombasa, the other coaches who are in Kisumu, we deliberate exactly what we need, what I said in terms of we need speed, we need to work on skills development, we need to, our, our players to be good shooters, uh, because mostly uh, if you check around, uh, we don't have that height, mm -hmm. or uh, we are limited with that height, so that means we need to cover with speed, and our shooting ability has to be high, and also our ball handling skills have to be high. 
So those are some of the things that now we spread into to the other coaches. So that now when we are working in, those are the things that we're working. So that now when they come into at the national level, every player is at par with what we need. And it's now, it gives us now an easy way in terms of selecting to the next level. Yeah. And Terence, from the weekend, what are some of the things you've learned um, playing against, you know, other players who are based in Nairobi and you getting a chance to be called up to represent the country? Uh, I've learned how to match up with your man without helping anybody else. When you match up with your man, it means that you can't let anybody, you can't let her take the ball. If, if she takes the ball, you need to play her a very strong defense so that she can't be able to pass the ball or to kill the dribble so that the position can be yours. Yes. Without risking any foul. Yes. Yeah. And for you, Emily, yeah. learning lessons from the, uh, the weekend? Yeah, me, I've learned to play with different players from different places with their strengths and weaknesses. Also, I've learned about teamwork. Yeah. What was, uh, you know, playing against players from different places, uh, playing against players from different places? So, you learn, uh, like, maybe when you meet here, it's not only, it's not only that place that you'll meet, maybe you'll meet somewhere else. So, you'll know mm -hmm. their weakness, their strength, yeah. All right. Now, um, as you do the national selection process, are you working with schools to ensure that this is achieved? Okay. Um, I mean, once schools open and yeah. it has to continue in about another five venues, how are you mm. working with them? Okay. Uh, through the Kenya School Sports Association, uh, that is the organization uh, that uh, we work closely uh, with. So, um, and for the last, like, uh, since the corona uh, aspect, uh, there have been a very difficulties in terms of uh, access to schools because of the regulations uh, put by the Ministry of uh, Health. Uh -huh. So, but we are hoping in uh, for this coming term, now and uh, at least the, uh, the regulations have been eased, uh, we are able now to, to go back and also uh, reach out to more young uh, people in school because uh, high school now forms the basis of development of uh, basketball. Uh, apart from the academies that are around at the grassroots level, uh, the next level is uh, the high schools. So we are really, really much uh, aware about that. And uh, once the schools are open, uh, we really need to engage more on that and also introduce uh, the 3x3 uh, basketball uh, event uh, at the school level. Okay. Yeah. I'll let you two have the final one. Um, we know the last two years have been tough. Sports in school at age grade level have been suspended except for national team assignments. Those are the regulations from the Ministry of Sport. What's the plea that you'd like now that you have been called up to national team duty? Mm. Hopefully, you know, because there's still people from other counties. Yes. Uh, I'll just keep on training because out of this they also try they only want to pick, to pick the best four so I would like to train hard so that I can also be picked to play for the Kenya national team with the best four on the three and three Have you been allowed to train uh, individually even if it's alone in school? In school mm -hmm. not really Not really. Yes. But you hope that it does happen mm. oh. How are you going to keep up with this? Um, As you know, the coach and the federation, you know, try and make provisions for you to train. As for me, I'll keep on training and also it's good to watch games and see how people relate with the three on three so that I can get some skills from there. Ah. Okay, well, explosive basketball, three on three basketball, played over 10 minutes, three players with one sub and 21 is a point. If you get to 21 inside the 10 minutes, the game is over. If you, uh, whoever has the highest score within the 10 minutes of play, the game is over. And by the way, if you, sco if you are on 20 and you score 22, it's bust. Yeah, it's, uh, uh, it's, it, it, it's over 21, so you win the game. You win the game. Yeah. Very easy. Yeah. So, a lot of basketball IQ required for that. Thank you very much, Coach Shem Otieno. He is an, uh, an coach with the under-16s for 3x3 three three basketball. Remember, it's all the build-up to the Africa Youth Games that take place in Egypt.
and that is in the month of August. And also we have got Terence Hill here with us. Terence Hill Musimbi, she is a student at Butere Girls and plays 3x3 basketball. Thank you and uh, oh, congratulations on being provisionally picked for the national team. And we have got Emilia Munga, she is a student at Our Lady of Mercy School here in Nairobi and congratulations on being picked provisionally for the Africa Youth Game Squad. Work hard, hope that you'll be on that final list of four in August. Thank you. Thank you very much. We shall be taking a short break and when we come back, we shall be talking loan bowls. Yes, loan bowls. Just understand that about rolling a ball on grass and trying to beat your opponent around that. We'll be joined by Mumu Musembi of the Kenya Bowling Association next. <laughs> 